Hello out there, my name is Benjamin and thank you so much for joining me here once again in the studios of Blabben Solutions. So in this very video, we will be looking at how to create an ebook cover and after that, we will learn how to do the mock-up of it. Before we get started, let me use this opportunity to say a very big thanks to you for clicking this video. If this is your first time of being in here and you think videos like this will be helpful, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button and also making sure to check the bell icon to all so as to be notified whenever I release new video tutorials. Do well to also like, share and let me know your thoughts by leaving them in the comment box below. If you are already a part of this team, thank you so much for showing up once again. Without any further ado, let's get started. These are the resources that we will be working with during the course of the tutorial. So make sure to check the description below. I will leave a link there so that you can get access to these images. I don't intend to do anything difficult. The design will be very simple and straightforward. So we will be only working with just one single image and the author. So do want to check the description below for the link to download the image after the video all right so welcome back into photoshop now as you already know the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new document and by doing that we come to file click on new and we are going to name this book cover and the size that i'll be working with uh you can choose to either work in inches or pixels but i'll work in inches so i'm going to work with five so the width will be 5 inches by 8 inches so changing it to pixels we have this so let's move on for it now our resolution we're going to leave the resolution to 300 let's leave this to be 8 bit and white so when we are done in here click ok so our document is ready and we can begin working i showed you the resources so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to import the resource in here and that is all we just start designing so with this image, I don't even know which one to choose, but let me see. I think I like this. So let me choose this image and I'm going to import this image in here like this. Let me reduce the size of the canvas by pressing Ctrl minus and I'm going to hold my shift key to rescale this image large enough to cover the entire canvas. Okay, and I'm going to shift this up a bit, something like this. hit enter and I think something like this okay the next thing we are going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to add a gradient fill in here I'm going to double click in here and I'm going to choose a color that color sample that is something like this And I'm going to select the same thing in here and I'm going to select that same color sample. And I'm going to drag this forward a bit. And I'm going to hit and OK and OK. So we have we have it looking something like this. Alright, so basically we are done with the designing of the book. There's nothing to do again. I just imported the image, did some gradient addition, and that is all. The next thing is I'm going to add my text, which is which has to do with the title of the book. So the title of the book is Broken Freedom. And I'm going to select my type tool in here. And I'll come in here. And I'm going to type Broken Broken. I'm not going to type them together. I'm going to type them each freedom so i'm going to change the font of the broken to a byte a underscore byte that is the text so i'm going to shape this here like this control t and i'm going to scale this this like this so 
sorry well, control T again hold shift and alt click to drag this in here like this hit enter so I'm going to shift this in here that is too big so let me reduce the size again okay so there you have it then with the freedom I'm going to change the color of the freedom to this color and I'm going to change the font to Obelix Pro Obelix Obelix Pro alright so I'm going to press ctrl T hold shift key and I'm going to scale this a bit so let's push this beneath here like this with the broken I'm going to add a stroke to it so come on to the add layer style and I'll choose stroke and I'm going to add a stroke of this color give it five points and hit ok and we are done with the title of the book so the name of the author is James Rose. So I'm going to type James Rose in here. All caps James. Sorry. James Rose. I'm going to be using a font by name Helvetica. vertical so that is so with the text width I'm going to increase the text width to something like this so that is 540 and I'm going to place this in here and guys we are done with the front cover page of our design so I'm going to tidy up the layer layer the layers panel in here hold shift click to group these control G into group and I'm going to rename this to front okay so I have this as the front right good so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create the back cover of the book as well so let me put this off and I'm going to create a rectangular sorry a rectangle across the canvas I'm going to change this color to something deep blue like this. Good. Let's shift this up a bit. I'm going to import that same image that I imported. Okay, so hold Control Alt. Sorry, hold Shift Alt and let's scale this now i'm holding only shift so we can scale this here like this control minus so that i can get a, a broader view of my workspace so that we can do this like this okay so we are going to reduce the opacity of this image the reason why i brought this rectangular tool behind was that when i reduce the opacity it wouldn't change the look at something now I have turned the rectangular shape off so let me reduce the opacity and see what happens you see it's like there's a whitish I believe you can see what I'm trying to say so by bringing back the visibility of my rectangular tool let me reduce the opacity of the image again and see the difference you see so it darkens it okay that is the main reason why i brought the so that so as not to get that white background we don't need it in here so i'll reduce the opacity to something like this something like this is okay and we are going to do some typing in here i'm not going to type anything i'm just going to copy and come and paste in here so let me do that quickly and i'll get back to you guys okay but before then 
we have to type the name of the the title the title of the book once again that is broken freedom and i'm going to type that in here so broken freedom for well, this one i'll place this in here like this and i'm going to choose a font by name helvetical insert and i'm going to reduce the width space of the text to zero i'm going to increase ctrl t and i'm going to increase the size of this a bit and i think this is okay hit okay and let's change the color to the white the was it pink or so now let's change the color to this very color right so let me check the color the hexa code of it and the freedom right so the hexa code is b33250 all right b33250 can we remember b33250 so put this off go to please it, it seems i've forgotten can you remember me all right thank you so much b33250 all right that's good so we have this in here broken freedom and uh, we are going to just type some something have you know that thing? yeah <laughs> so i'm going to copy and come and paste those things in here and i'll get back to you guys shortly all right guys thank god you made it to the other side of the video so thank you so much for sticking around and uh this we've done so the next thing we are going to do is we're going to bring a short detail about the author and it and his picture in here okay so let me quickly do that and i'll get back to you guys shortly right all right guys thank you so much for sticking around i'm really 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 grateful for for your time and uh we are done with the designing of the back cover as well so what we're going to do is we are quickly going to group everything in here like this so then control g and we have our back cover we have our front cover good so um what next the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to create a spine the spine of the book which is the side of the it's just, so to create a spine of the book i'm going to create a new canvas document and i'm going to be working with uh width of 150 by two 150 by 2 400 pages so that should give us something like 0 0.5 by 8 inches all right so we are working in pixels so 150 by 2 400 pixels so i should name this uh spine right so we have everything intact in here so hit ok and we have something like this perfect so let me put this image in here hold my shift key to scale this sorry to scale this scale till the image covers the entire canvas okay so i'm going to shift this in here like this i prefer something like this okay hit enter when you are done so we are not going to do any big thing in here We're just going to type the name the title of the book and the name of the author And let's hold our image and drag it up a bit to get a uh, small whiteness we need in here so something like this is cool and let's and we are done with the spine as well so we have our spine ready we have our front cover ready and we have our back cover also ready so now that we are done with the designing let's move on, on to the second part 
which is creating the mock-up of this cover book cover all right guys so welcome back i have this nice uh, mock-up template that i got from apple graphics i'll make sure i leave the link to that in the video description below so make sure to check this out after the video tutorial so you could see we have in here front book and we have in here back book so let me put the visibility off so the front visibility is off and the back visibility is also off so what we're going to do now is we are going to work with the front first remember we saved our file okay we saved it as jpeg file and uh, this is the front cover so you can see front cover so to do the mockup just double tap this portion this way and read what is there it says after editing the content choose file save to commit the changes those changes will be reflected upon returning to that is the name the name of the uh, what do you call it? the file the name of the file so it says the file must be saved to the same location if the save as that blah 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 so make what well, all what he's tra it's trying to tell us is that after putting the image on top make sure you save it and once you save it the reflection as in uh, the changes takes place on the main file in here okay so we are going to do that and you see what it means so it says blah 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 so choose flatten and there you have your image so let's quickly bring our image that we saved that is the font right so this is the font hold and let's drag this in here like this so place it hit enter and there you go so it says what save it so control s to save it so click ok and now we've saved it so let's go back onto our mockup and see if truly the changes has been made and there you go our changes has been made in here so that is how to quickly do or nicely do a mockup so let me do the next one which is the spine hit here and he says blah 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 the same thing again so let's head on on to here and let's copy our spine and hit enter all right so there you have it see save control s we've saved this let's move on on to this side and see if truly really we have it here so there you go we have our spine in here so the next thing we're going to do is or the last thing we are actually going to do is doing the marker for the back cover so let me put this up and let's move on here and this is the back cover that is it so just hit this way blah 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 the same thing again let's head on here drag this black cover and let's place it in here hit enter and there you go press ctrl s to save the file and we have a mock up of our book in here so this is how to easily create a mock up of any content that you have and there you have it so please do well to check the description below I'll leave the PSD file format for the design we just did and you can easily edit to add yours to it right so all right guys this brings us to the end of today's video tutorial I believe you really learned something in here if you did please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also check in into all so as to receive updates or notifications from blab and solutions whenever we release new video tutorials also like and please share the videos as well and let me know what you think about this video in the comment box below until i come your way next time that is still blab and solutions and thank you so much for watching see you in the next video